Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, creepy friends. Welcome to Slams and Bobs. We are now on attempt number four, I believe, four or five of the My Scheming Blackhead Removal Kit. Now, I have recorded, I think, about three or four. I've certainly recorded two. Uh, I think I did two attempts last night off camera and I've actually found out that I'm doing stuff wrong. So the first video I watched told me to apply this, massage it in and then wash it off. Apparently you're supposed to put this on and leave it for eight minutes to set and then wash it off and then it's optional if you want to use a hot flannel over your nose just to like open the pores out a little bit more. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to do this again, hopefully a fifth and final time or at least a fifth time to dispel everything. I also found that I think I'm better off not applying this. I think I need to dry my skin a little bit more because my nose is so oily. It doesn't seem to dry the mask and I'm also leaving it on too long. I thought you were supposed to leave it on for half an hour. Apparently you're supposed to leave it on 15 to 20 minutes. But as you saw, oh, no, you didn't see because I haven't released it. I'm going to release this version if it works first and the other version better and the failed version second so that you can all have a laugh at me. Then going with a wet nose and I know it's breaking the rules. I'm going to go in with a slightly drier nose once we've used this and see how we get on. As you don't know yet, the first use of this, this bottle leaked, so I've actually used so much of it now and I'm so peeved about that because I feel like I've lost loads of this one bottle. So we're going to go in with step number one. And as you know, we ma oh, no, you don't. You massage this onto the nose. I'm just going to do this on the nose because the nose is the worst affected area. And I'll give you a little close up of my nose in a little while. So massaged in, we now have to sit for eight minutes. So in those eight minutes, I'll introduce this properly to you again because you don't know what I'm talking about yet. So the My Scheming Blackhead kit has been going all over the internet for quite a long time now. Some of the results people have had with this kit are ridiculously good. And I searched and searched for a very long time to try and find one that was a UK seller because I think the best place for it is on eBay. You can get it on Amazon, but it's like 20 pound on there. And I finally found one a couple of days ago. Oh, you can get that sleeve off. I didn't know that. I've been trying to get that off for about the last three days. And it basically consists of three products. You have this, which is deep pore demineralizer. You then have the black charcoal mask here. And this, contrary to the picture on the instructions right here, is like a pore treatment essence, it's called. And contrary to the lady you see on this picture, she's clearly using some sort of exfoliant just like a clear product like the first thing we just put on our noses so if you care to go through other people's channels you'll see that they just have amazing results with this some people have failed I failed on the first four attempts of this so hopefully the fifth attempt is gonna work great so I'm gonna come in and show you the horror of my nose there are so many blackheads across my nose and I know it's not pretty and I'm very sorry I also have problems up here on my chin and across to the sides here but the nose is by far the worst affected there is a product similar to this on the market next week and i was told by them directly that it's coming to selfridges next week it's a product called hog bay yorga bay jorga bay i don't know which way you say it but it's essentially like a double of this but at a lot more money a bottle of this from hog bay i'm going to say hog bay costs about 22 pounds and as you know i've said it before i am not a pro at this i don't earn loads of money so we have to kind of rely on my bank balance to fund anything i do so hauga bay right now may be not something we buy but i would like to buy it in the future the first attempts we did at this uh didn't really go as planned i struggled to get anything out of my nose with nose strips it pulls a few things and this is bearing in mind that i do exactly what it says doesn't really have much effect on me. It certainly doesn't give the results that this is meant to achieve. So we've got another five minute set of this, set this, and then we'll come back after it's washed off and my nose is slightly damp. And then we will apply this and then I will see you 20 minutes, half an hour after that. Okay everyone, so that is time on the step one. So I've now got a warm towel and we're just gonna hold that for a little while. Oh, for two minutes because I think my camera is going to die in two minutes.
think what step one does is it acts as like a bit of a softener maybe to get in so that when step two goes on it acts as a bit of a hook okay i'm happy with that so now we're going to apply this stuff this is a thick black consistency as you can probably guess and i'm relying on the image behind here to actually pull this off so please don't laugh at me the mirror is currently behind here okay that's pretty evenly on now i now have to leave this on for about half an hour i'm gonna well most people have said 15 to 20 minutes maybe half an hour it just depends i guess on how long your skin takes to dry with this stuff on i am just gonna go by ear and say when it's dry gone for a pretty even layout what this will do is kind of settle into your pores and as i said it's kind of like a hook so this is how it looks please god don't let anyone come to the door this saturday morning in the next sort of like half an hour i'm going for a bath now anyway so i will see you all back when it's time to peel this thing off and let's hope attempt number five is the best okay everyone so i'm calling time i reckon it's been about mm, i guess maybe 20 minutes half an hour to be honest i kind of lost track of time uh i had a nice bath had a nice bath with lush comfort there's two builders on top of a roof opposite my house who <laughs> just suddenly zeen them over there what i was doing while i was waiting i listened to the new shinedown album threat to survival it's um i'm a little bit indifferent about it i've got to be honest it it doesn't feel like them on a lot of tracks it um they've changed and they've got kind of like a more laid back vibe about it it's got a certain sound and i can't quite explain it to you but it's something that a lot of pop songs have right now and it's kind of disappointed me in a little way i um it doesn't feel like them some of it and yeah I think Amaryllis was a really good album, but um, I'm not so sure about this one. It certainly doesn't beat Amaryllis. When you remove the mask, you're supposed to pull it up. And actually, pulling this off can be a bit difficult. It does tend to literally glue itself to your face. That has hooked a hold of absolutely nothing. So now I've got loads of black streaks on my face and I'm declaring attempt number five a fail. I think I'm just de gonna declare this product a whole fail actually. It's clear to me that this doesn't work. This looks, my nose looks no different. Still got many, many blackheads and I found since trying to get this to work yesterday, my skin or certainly my nose is now even oilier than usual i know a lot of people have had amazing results with this but i'm gonna say for me it doesn't work it's such a shame i was really hoping that he was gonna get all of this cleared out that isn't the case sorry everyone it's a fail this is a sixth and final attempt i'm kind of fed up now this time i applied it a lot more thickly to the nose and it's taken nearly 50 minutes to dry I don't know why it takes so long for it to dry. I also made my nose a lot more wet. And I'm hoping that maybe this time it might work. Uh, let's pull this up. No, it's barely lifted anything barely lifted a thing even though i don't see the point the final product to apply is the skin clarifying pore treatment essence and you just basically do what you do with step one with this one so you take a few drops on the finger and you just rub it all into the pores i suppose hopefully closing them or i don't know what it does i don't know what it's supposed to do all i know is that i'm now really disappointed and upset because i was just sitting here going it's gonna work this time it's gonna work this time and it hasn't worked this time i'm fed up of trying this now i've done absolutely everything it's told me to do i've waited longer than i should have to let this settle on my skin i am officially declaring this product a fail in my eyes it just doesn't work it doesn't work on me as far as i'm concerned this thing throw it away thanks for watching everyone bye